Hey you guys, it's me Morgan and welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I have been gone off of YouTube for, I don't know, like almost four months is the last time I posted a video, which that's probably the longest time I have been off of YouTube since I started in 2009. So I have a very good reason why clearly. Y'all can see from the title that I am pregnant. <laughs> Yay! So I know that sounds so weird for me to say still, like I'm pregnant. Like I had to get used to saying that. But yeah, I'm pregnant and my shirt says Mama Avocado on it. Um, yeah, so I have my pregnancy test in here. Um, I'm so extra because I put them, I keep them in a the bottle. Um, but yeah, I am definitely pregos I have two tests these are the first two tests that I took um, the one with the two lines and the clear blue digital one I took this one first because this one looked cooler so I was just like I want to see oh gosh hold on one second okay so the one with the clear blue one is digital let's scoot it so y'all can see focus yeah so it says pregnant on it I hope y'all can see that it says pregnant and before I even go any further this is my shirt it says a mama avocado on it no mama mama cado yeah mama cado with the avocado holding the baby seed in the middle the heart so I thought that was so cute so I wanted to get the shirt to record this video in but yeah you guys I am pregnant and I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Um, first, I'm gonna tell you guys like how I feel right now. So right now, I feel amazing. I am so blessed and I'm so happy. Um, you know how people ask you like, what's your deepest fear or what's something you want to achieve in life before you leave this earth? Well, having a baby is one of mine. Um, like I wanted to experience childbirth, raising a child, taking care of a child, like all that. Y'all know, if you don't, I am a teacher. So I've been teaching kindergarten for 10 years now. This is my 10th year teaching. And I've been teaching five year olds and six year olds the whole time. So I naturally have a love for children anyway, but just the thought of having my own child, like I don't know, it brings tears to my eyes. like. I'm trying to cry because I don't know it's just it's a lot like that's something that I want to experience and I know that not everybody gets to experience it so I'm just very blessed that I'm able to experience this stage of my life and going through pregnancy and you know having a baby and everything so I'm really excited my boyfriend is also very excited his name is Raphael um, if y'all watch my like Aruba vlogs or um, my Jamaica vlog, my last two like out the country vlogs, um, the guy in the video, that's my boyfriend, that's Raphael. So um, yeah, he's super excited. He's going to be a dad and I don't know, I'm just super excited. Like I'm 32 years old now and this is something that I have always wanted. So yeah, I had to take it all in. It was a lot. Okay, so I'm going to move on to when I first found out I was pregnant. So y'all, <laughs> I feel like this is a shocker to a lot of people that I am pregnant because like when I tell my friends or, you know, people, they're like, you're pregnant? Like what? And I'm like, yeah, like one of my friends didn't even believe me at first. She was like, send me, send me the pregnancy test. Like she did not believe me, but I definitely am. So, um. I found out I was pregnant in July. So I found out in July this year that I was pregnant. Um, I don't know if I have the exact date. I believe it was like July 12th or no, not the 12th. I don't know. It was July 20th. So let me let me look. I want to look because I want to know. So I found out I was pregnant. I found out that I was pregnant on 
July 14th. Yeah, on July 14th is when I found out that I was pregnant. Um, my period was supposed to come on July 12th, which was a Tuesday. And y'all, I thought my period was gonna come. Like, I was just living life like, you know, I did every day. It was the summertime, I'm off work. I'm out like having fun with my friends, you know, turning up, going to the pool, like all that stuff, traveling. And so the 12th came and I was like, oh, my period didn't come yet. That's okay. And let me tell y'all, my periods are very, very normal, okay? I never had like a regular period, a missed period, a super late period, a super early period, nothing. They're very, very regular. They come like clockwork, okay? So I was supposed to have it on Tuesday. It didn't come. So I was like, okay, cool, stay late. Mind you, I also felt like my period was going to come, but I didn't feel any different. So Wednesday came and I was like, oh, it's just a day late. So my period is usually like on time or a day late. So Wednesday came, nothing. I still felt like I had period like symptoms. And so Thursday came and I woke up and I was like, let me just take a pregnancy test just to see if I'm pregnant. So I woke up, y'all, I went to use the bathroom, dipped the pregnancy test in the cup, and put it down, got on my phone, was like looking at stuff, and I was about to get off. And I was like, let me just throw this away real quick, because I know it's not positive. Y'all, I looked at that test, and <laughs> this is the one I looked at first. I looked at this one, and I was like, there's two lines on here like I never thought that I would see two lines I mean I knew like one day I would get pregnant but I'm like I never thought that I would see two lines on the pregnancy test <laughs> and y'all the line was not like a faint line either it was like oh you're super pregnant type of line okay so <laughs> I looked at it y'all the first thing I did was cry <laughs> I cried I was just so in shock like I think I was in shock I was happy I was scared nervous like there were a whole bunch of emotions like I was like oh my gosh this is like really happening like 32 years this is really happening <laughs> so yeah so I cried and then the first person I told was honestly my brother because he um he I don't know he, he's like the easiest person to talk to I mean outside of my friends like in my family my brother is the easiest one to talk to because we're six years apart he's 25 so I told him and he was super excited um and then that day I told my mom um and me telling my mom was like um very I was very nervous to tell her well not very nervous but I was nervous to tell her um and I was like I have something to tell you I told her in person and I was like I have something to tell you and she's like what is it and I y'all I literally was staring at my mom for like 10 seconds like I had this blank stare like I didn't know how I was gonna get it out so I told my mom and she was like oh my gosh Morgan it's okay I'm so happy for you blah blah and y'all y'all see a lot of y'all see my mom like on YouTube Instagram y'all know like her personality is amazing she's sweet caring all that so we talked and then she was like I'm gonna be a grandma da, da, da. so super happy so my mom is really happy and then I told my boyfriend I told him in person he's very happy he is like I, don't know, I feel like he feels like he's on top of the world right now like just seeing how happy it is makes me also just so happy and you know the way he rubs my belly and all of that so he's super excited and then um I told my dad four days later because I was a little bit nervous I am a daddy's girl and I'm the only girl so me telling him was like so I told him he was like folding clothes told him in person folding clothes and I was like daddy I have something to tell you and he looked at me no no my mom was with me my mom was like 
Morgan has something to tell you. But I was like, what is it? And I'm just like looking like this. <laughs> and then I was like, Daddy, I'm having a baby. And I started crying. <laughs> but he got up and he had the biggest smile on his face and gave me a hug. And it just made me feel so much better. It made me feel like, you know, everything's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Like, like this, it's, it's fine. Like. He was just like, I'm so happy for you. Then he started making jokes about he has to go find a car seat so he can take the baby with him and all this stuff to like run errands and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so my family is super excited. My boyfriend's super excited. So I'm super excited. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, just the responses that I've got from my family and my boyfriend honestly make me feel like, everything's fine like and everything will be fine so yeah so everybody's excited okay so let me get a sip real quick also I forgot to say um that Thursday that I got my positive test the Wednesday the day before yo I went to the gym and I was so so tired like a lot of y'all know I work out all the time I work out four to five times a week like I went to the gym and it was leg day and leg day is my favorite and I literally did not want to do anything. All the exercises I did were exercises where I sat down like I was wearing a leg press, leg curls, leg extension. I had this exercise where I laid down and do legs like all I want to do was lay down and I was thinking I was just like this is really weird like usually I'm more hype for like day and hype for the gym and I think I like took pre-workout too and it was just like I didn't want to be there I was so tired and mind you like I said I was on summer break so I was sleeping a whole lot so I'm gonna move into like some of the symptoms that I had I do want to do another part another video that talks about my first trimester symptoms because I am in my second trimester right now so um the next video i do or the next couple videos i do will probably be like going more in depth with my symptoms because i do have let me get it i do have this pregnancy book right here the ultrasound picture on the front this is it it's on amazon um but my big sis got this one for me and i write stuff in it about like my symptoms and all that so i'll get more in depth but the beginning the symptoms that I really had were just like um, I was extremely tired I was tired from waking up extremely tired um, I had really bad headaches and what else towards like week nine I was like really constipated but I didn't have any morning sickness I never threw up a single bit I didn't get nauseous so I think that my pregnancy is going very well right now. Um, I'm still eating like the same way I've been eating. Um, I usually eat healthy and clean. I just can't eat, you know, the certain foods like sushi, oysters, which is so sad because I love oysters, y'all. I love oysters. If I would have known that I was pregnant, I would have eaten, I, I would have went to oyster happy hour again. So yeah, so I would have went to like Oyster Happy Hour again. I would have had like all the sushi I could and all that. Um, so yeah, so uh, those are really like the top three symptoms I had. Like headache, um, I was extremely tired and constipation, which is like something that I'm still dealing with occasionally. It's gotten better. But, yeah, no morning sickness, no throwing up. Hallelujah, thank God, because I have a phobia of throwing up anyway. Every time I throw up, I start crying. No. But I do um, read, like, a lot of forums and, like, the apps, like, Baby Center or What to Expect. And it did say, like, if you eat protein in the morning um, and stuff like that, it helps with nausea. And I already do eat protein and, like, leafy greens and stuff like that in the morning for breakfast. So I feel like that helped a lot with my, like... If I were to be nauseous, nauseous or to have morning sickness. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to how many weeks am I right now 
on this exact day. The day I'm recording this video is the day that I am posting it. I am, I have not posted anything on social media yet. So I'm posting this video and I'm also going to post my baby announcement post on Instagram at the same time. So we could all be on one accord, but I'm currently 20 weeks and six, five slash six days. Um, so like I always count like Monday, I will be 21 weeks. So my new week starts over like on Mondays. So I'm officially like five months this week. Yay. I'm halfway there. So I am 20 weeks pregnant. Monday I will be 21 weeks pregnant. The baby's due date is um, March 19th slash 20th. And I say 19th slash 20th because my original due date when I first went it was March 19th. But then when they measure him again, he was like a little one day behind. So that kind of makes it to March 20th. And honestly, I like saying March 20th because I like even numbers. I know I'm so weird. But I like saying March 20th because that's where he was measuring at. And um, y'all, my birthday is March 22nd. <laughs> so my baby will be due on the week of my birthday. Literally two days before my birthday. Now they say only 4% of babies come on their due date so I don't know y'all he might I'm an Aries so he might be a Pisces he might be an Aries we will find out in March I guess um but you know I thought like what if the baby comes on my due date like I mean on my birthday like I have to share my birthday which you know I'm okay with that but I thought like a really cool birthday for the baby would be March 23rd 2023 like 0323 2023 I know I'm weird I think about stuff like that but as long as the baby's healthy and all that that's all I really care about right now so yeah so baby's due in March and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what my little avocado and brewing up in my belly is um because I did not have a gender reveal I actually did early testing um I did early testing early blood testing at I think 11 weeks and um I found out the results at week like 13 and you know, I just couldn't wait like I'm very I'm very like planned and I like to plan things that I feel like I'm structured and not knowing what the baby's sex is when I could know I don't know it really bothered me and so like when I did early testing I tested it like for like the down syndrome like the different chromosome things and stuff like that so everything came out normal thank goodness I was low risk for everything and they told me what the sex was so I am having a baby boy so uh, I'm having a baby boy and y'all I'm really excited at first I'm not gonna lie like I was team girl I don't know well I do know why because I wanted a mini Morgan like I had my mind set on I'm having a girl like y'all nobody could tell me that I'm not having a girl like when I found out I was pregnant I was like oh yeah it's a girl it's a girl already I already know and I was looking up stuff on like Etsy like to buy <laughs> or like baby reveal stuff that was for girls and y'all it's a boy and when I found out it was a boy I'm gonna be honest like I was like a boy because you like like I said like in my head I was like I'm having a girl da -da. so it took me a minute to like process that it's not a girl and that it is a boy but I started thinking about it and I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm really excited to have a boy. My boyfriend, y'all, when I told him that he, that the baby was a boy, he's so ecstatic. Like, first of all, my boyfriend, he is Nigerian. Um, he wasn't born in Nigeria, his mom and dad were, so he's Nigerian. And in their culture, um, it's like a big deal if you have a boy first. So he's super excited that it's a boy and I'm excited because I thought about like you know as I grew up it's just my brother and I and I'm the oldest and 
when I was little I used to think about oh my gosh I wish that I had like a big brother you know like that and so now like I thought about that and I'm, it just made me more excited because now like when I do have more kids so I want to I do want to have like two or three kids um and then maybe you know next time I'll have a girl and she'll have a big brother to look up to and that made me feel good also and then boys love their mom so like <laughs> he's gonna love me so much anyway <laughs> And then like the things that people tell me about girls as they get older and like their hormones and drama and stuff like I thought about myself when I was a little girl. Um, yes, I'm a daddy's girl, but it's just like I would go back and forth like my mouth used to get me in trouble sometimes like, you know, all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? I don't think the world was ready for a mini Morgan yet. So we're gonna have, you know, a boy instead. So yeah, I do have his name picked out already. His name is Mason Ikenna. Um, Ikenna is his middle name. Mason is a name that I picked out like years ago. It's something that I had in my head. If it was a girl, it's gonna be Madison. If it was a boy, it was gonna be Mason. Well, it is a boy, so it is Mason. So Mason is in my belly right now. Um, I just love the name Mason. I love M names. Um, and Ikenna, my boyfriend actually picked that name out. It is a Nigerian name, it is an Igbo name, and it means the strength of my father. So he picked it out with meaning. So his name is Mason Ikenna, which I love so much. My parents love it, Ralph loves it, so we all just love it. So little Mason Ikenna is brewing in my belly. Uh, I'm gonna stand up and show you guys my bump right now. Um, like I said, I'm five weeks, I mean, no, Lord, I'm five months, I'm 20 weeks pregnant. Um, I feel like it did take some time for my belly to pop. As y'all know, I work out, I'm pretty fit. And y'all, I feel like I still have my abs. Like when you look at me, not really, but like, I feel it. Like there's, I feel like my ab is poking out. So yeah. So are you guys ready to see my belly? All right. So I'm going to show you guys my belly bone. Okay, so here is my belly bump and belly bump, baby bump, <laughs> and little baby Mason is inside. This is it. He is the size this week. I'm 20 weeks, so he's the size of a sweet potato, I believe. Yeah, sweet potato. And he's right there inside. And I feel like I mainly feel him like down here, like he's not all the way up here. I went to the doctor recently and they did the heartbeat and he's like down in this area. And y'all, I'm having, um, it's called round ligament pain. So like when I lay down and stuff, I feel like the sides just stretching over here. But yeah, I did take my belly ring out and I have a pregnancy ring and I had that in and then I lost it. The top, the screw fell off. So I just kept it out. But I have other pregnancy belly rings that I'm going to put in. But yeah, this is it. This is <laughs> with my arms up. Let's see. Yeah. And y'all, like, sometimes when I'm working out, like, I feel like if, if I flex, this is me flexing right now. So I feel like my abs, like, I don't know if y'all can see, but like my muscles, they're like still there. Y'all, my stomach is so hard. Like I touch other pregnant people's bellies and theirs are like soft and squishy. And mine is just like the abs that I had that are right here. They're like poking out. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like they're poking out right there. So yeah, this is little baby Mason in my belly. Alright, so yeah, so that was Baby Mason inside my belly. I love him so much. I talk to him every single day. I'm constantly rubbing my belly. Um, so yeah, so um, Raphael and I went to Cabo last week on the 28th of October until like November 1st or 2nd. Uh, we went on a baby moon and it was super fun. We went to this beautiful resort. And we took baby announcement pictures, which looks like a whole maternity shoot we took, but they were just for announcements. 
but I'm going to be posting those on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at beautiful Morgan. So you guys can look at the photos as well. And I'll be like posting like you know, a little updates in my Insta story. And y'all, I haven't posted pictures on there forever either. Like the content that's been on my Instagram has been like, I have a um, collab with Under Armour right now. So it's been like my Under Armour collab stuff that I have to post but like just regular like me post you know everyday life I have not posted anything I think the last one I posted like a regular picture was um let's see when was it was <laughs> in the summer the last regular picture I posted on Instagram was july 20th and that was like a week after i found out i was pregnant so i was like five weeks in that picture and i have a swimsuit on y'all like <laughs> this is me Ugh, it's not focusing but yeah y'all can go look at my instagram but that's me five weeks and then this video let's see if this will focus this video here of me like that's when i was off oh there it goes nice focus okay let me go back so this video right here I was I mean this photo I was five weeks pregnant and then this video was like a couple days later or like when was this it was July 11th dang when was the other one July 12th July, why did that one go in front that's weird but yeah this is right before I found out I was pregnant I was doing handstands and flipping around and everything so yeah but um i did record the cabo vlog it's like a short little you know vlog of the baby moon we went to cabo last week so i'll be posting that soon and i will be posting tons of the pictures that we took y'all the resort the photographer there like we were just chilling like drinking i was drinking mango juice and tahine and he had his drink and the photographer came by and I asked him like you know I want to kind of see his portfolio blah blah his pictures were so nice so I booked him for baby announcement pictures to put on Instagram and stuff and they came out so beautiful so if y'all want to go check them out um go look on my Instagram for those because I'll be you know, I got so many of them and they're just beautiful I love them so much but yeah, so I'll definitely be posting more videos. I'm back now on YouTube. Yay. Um, I'll be posting more vlogs, more vlogs with my boyfriend, um, baby updates, pregnancy updates, like all that stuff. I'm super excited um, just to see what life has in store for us now and this journey that I'm going through. Um, I'm going to do a pregnancy Q&A video I'll probably do that like the beginning of December um once I get like all the questions rolled in and stuff but yeah so the upcoming videos I'll definitely have a first trimester symptom type video and like products I use because y'all the day I found out I was pregnant I went and got I researched prenatals I got some good prenatals I got body butters like y'all not playing okay I am not playing um so yeah so I'll have those videos coming out soon and thank you guys for your support I have been on YouTube for what it's 2020 I started in no it's 2022 starting 2009 I've been on YouTube for 13 years that's such a long time so this is the biggest news I ever had on YouTube so thank you guys for just supporting me going throughout the journey with me and you know I just really want positivity on my channel I don't want any negativity so please you know positive vibes only and I will see you guys soon in the next video so baby Mason and I will see you later bye you guys <laughs>